Hey guys, I am Abhijit Anand and you are watching our channel All in One. So guys, if you want to start reading science books and you have a keen interest in cosmology, uh, galaxies, Milky Way, stars, planets, nebulas, many 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 more space interesting stuffs, then it is recommended that you have to start with the book The Brief History of Time. It is also believed that if you want to start Stephen Hawking books then this should be started first as it covers uh, all the things in brief and it can be read by a person without a science background. So today I am discussing the summary of the chapter 1 of this book The Brief History of Time. So let's begin. A scientist was giving lectures that earth revolves around the sun, sun revolves around the center of galaxy. An old lady caught up and said there is towers of tortoise and our flat plate like earth is situated at top of the tortoise shell. Well, now it seems ridiculous to us but at that time many people believed this theory. We have many questions nowadays too like the beginning of the universe, what was there before the beginning of the universe, time travel, can we change the past through time travel and many more such questions. In future. These questions will have answers and all other theories regarding this will be ridiculous to us. Aristotle in his book On the Heavens gave two arguments which prove Earth is spherical, not a flat, round plate. His first argument was on lunar eclipse as the shadow of Earth on Moon is always round, not elongated and elliptical. Second on the position of North Star which is seen in North and South as the distance of a star from north seems larger than south. One more argument was on the ship that we see the sail of the ship first and then the hull coming from origin. All this is possible from earth as a sphere. Aristotle thought the earth is situated at the center and the moon, stars and other planets revolve around it. Ptolemy gave further explanation to this idea with his cosmological model. In this model, the earth is at the center and other 8 objects rotate in their respective spheres around the earth. The fixed stars are stationary and are below. What is beyond the sphere was unknown to the mankind. This model was not accepted universally but Christian church accepted as it resembles in the bible and there were lot of space available beyond the sphere for heaven and hell. A simpler model was given in 1514 by a French Nicholas Copernicus but due to fear of the church, he circulated his model anonymously. In this model, the sun was at the center and other eight planets revolved around it. Almost after a century, two astronomers Kepler and Galileo Galilei supported it publicly. In 1609, Ptolemaic theory was blown away. Galileo observed Jupiter through a telescope that several moons orbit Jupiter at the same time. Kepler modified Copernicus theory and suggested that the planets does not revolve in circular path, rather they have a elliptical path. This hypothesis was merely ad hoc and repugnant as ellipse is less perfect than circle. He failed to explain the cause of elliptical path. In 1687, Sir Isaac Newton published a book Philosophy Naturalis Principia Mathematica in which he explained space-time and complex mathematics needed for explaining motion. He also gave universal law of gravitation. The story that an apple fell to his head which gave the idea of gravity is almost false. He was just thinking why apple falls down always. Newton showed that due to gravity the planets revolve in elliptical paths instead of circular. Before 20th century, no one had suggested that the universe is expanding or contracting. It was accepted either universe existed as today forever or it was created in the past more or less same as today it is. According to early cosmologists and Jewish Christian Muslim tradition, the universe started at finite, not very distant time in the past. St. Augustine in his book The City of God, he pointed that man and also universe could not have been around all that long. He proposed a date about 5000 BC for the creation of universe. Interesting, this is this date is around the end of last ice age about 10,000 BC which is believed beginning of civilization. 
Aristotle and other Greek philosophers didn't accept the idea of creation as it intervened their divine beliefs. According to them, natural disasters occur time to time so that civilization will be forever same. Immanuel Kant, in his book Critique to Pure Reason in 1781, supported both arguments. If the universe did not have the beginning, the time would have existed till infinity in past and if there is beginning, the time before the beginning would go on past till infinity. Saint Augustine said that universe is created by God and time is the property of God. It didn't exist before the beginning of the universe. In 1929, Edwin Hubble said that galaxies is moving far away from us and universe is expanding. This means that there was a point of time when all the objects would have been closer together. About 10 or 20 million, million years ago, all existed at the same place. Hubble's observation suggested that there was a point of time called Big Bang, where the universe was infinitely small and infinitely dense. All laws of science break down there. Time also started from the Big Bang. There was no existence of time before that. The goal of science is to provide a single theory that describes the whole universe. Today, scientists describe the universe in terms of two basic partial theories, the general theory of relativity and the quantum mechanics. The general theory of relativity gives force of gravity and it acts on the large scale structure of universe. Quantum mechanics deals with the phenomenon of extremely small scale. But at the same time, both theories cannot be correct. One contradicts with the other. We need a theory that unifies all the partial theories available till now. We don't have such theories till date, but advancement in science can lead us to that. So basically in this chapter, we came to know about early beliefs, early cosmological models, some tradition and divine thinkings, and what should be done to fulfill our curiosity about the universe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more upcoming science videos and share this video till the length of the universe. Till then, bye bye and see you guys in the next video.